We're going to talk about how we were able to help our client from Haiti fix her immigration status after being in the U.S. for more than 20 years. I'm Latoya McBean Pompey, an immigration lawyer in New York, working with clients nationwide and across the globe. Reach out to us at McBean Law at 888 888- 462-4006 or at mcbeanlaw.com. I'm taking this from a success story that we have on our website. We have a lot of success stories on the website. Visit us there at mcbeanlaw.com forward slash success and read and encourage yourself. Now in this one, guys, she came to the U.S., in August of 2001 with a visitor's visa. She then applied for asylum, like most folks do who enter the United States from Haiti in those days. She applied for asylum, but her case was not approved. She was then placed in removal proceedings. An immigration judge issued a removal order against her in March 2004. She then married a U.S. citizen, and he tried to help her fix her status, but it didn't work. He filed his form I-130 petition in 2012, and it was approved. But prior to filing for her, she had obtained TPS, Temporary Protected Status, when it became available to Haitian nationals in 2010. Now, her lawyer at the time prepared a motion to reopen her removal proceedings and filed it with the immigration court, but it was denied in 2018. Although she had her removal order, at the advice of her lawyer, she left the United States. She traveled on advanced parole that she was able to get through TPS, but she traveled on advanced parole thinking that maybe it's going to help me fix my status, but she really didn't need to do that. Anyway, she left and came back in in September 2018. She was only gone for a month. And then in December of the same year, her lawyer told her, go ahead and apply for adjustment of status. And the lawyer also told her, go ahead and apply for, submit the form I-212, the waiver. And she did so. And both were denied, guys. Her green card application was denied and her I-212 was denied as well. So, but despite all of these denials, she didn't give up. She didn't lose hope. But there was a long gap, so to speak, from the time of her last denial until she came to meet with us last year. And we told her that we're going to need to study your case, become smart about your background, and figure out whether yours is a good fit for us to try again, number one, try again, and try with ICE first through prosecutorial discretion. And after doing her case assessment, we prepared her joint motion to reopen and terminate her removal case. We submitted this to the ICE field office in June 2023, or June 8th, 2023 to be precise. And then just a few days later, guys, on June 13th, it was approved. And so now with this fix, she can adjust her status. Along the way, as you heard through this short testimonial, there were some strategic errors in her background, in her case, despite the fact that she was being advised by an attorney. But unfortunately, that attorney misled her and had her doing all sorts of things back then that just did not work. The biggest fix that she needed at the time was to get her removal case reopened and terminated so that jurisdiction can now shift back to USCIS for the green card application. And so that's exactly what happened after we've worked on her case. So we're really delighted by this. So a few takeaways. Number one, you have to get smart about your situation. You have to know what is on your record, what is likely to come up if you decide through an attorney or on your own to try to get your case reopened. Number two, reopening an old removal case is very complicated, very complex, because you have to understand certain dynamics. You have to understand, well, it is my case the type of case that I could actually go to USCIS with my green card application, and they can give me a green card in my hand, despite the fact that I have a removal order? And for some people, the answer is yes, and we've helped people in those situations. But your background, the facts, how you enter the U.S., all of those things come into play with 
with that type of strategy. So for some people, it works that way. But for a lot of other people who entered the United States with a visa, you came in the right way, you cannot accomplish your goal of getting your green card from USCIS while you have a removal order over your head or in this old removal case, okay? You would have to reopen that old removal case and then let jurisdiction shift to USCIS. So that's why for many of you, you get a letter from USCIS saying, we have administratively closed your I-45 adjustment of status application because we don't have jurisdiction to proceed because you have a removal order. So you've seen this language, okay? And so, but so that this that's generally how USCIS handles the issue. They administratively close your I-45. For other people, sometimes they deny it, okay? They just deny the I-45 and say, we don't have jurisdiction to proceed with this application. The third takeaway that I really want you to get from this video is that who you work with really does matter because all of the steps that I've shared with you that our client took in the past cost money, okay? Attorney fees, uh, filing fees, all of that, gone, gone, vanished, okay? Vanished. And so unfortunately, because who she worked with at the time didn't understand, okay, here's actually the real strategy. Here's what you need to do. That person didn't get it. And so therefore it cost her so much money, wasted money and time and effort and emotionally draining. So thirdly, who you work with really matters. Work with someone who is experienced or firm that is experienced, that has a track record for these types of cases. So guys, I hope you found this helpful. Be sure again to reach out to us if you'd like to speak with an attorney about your removal background and whether yours is a case that can be moved forward with a motion to reopen, you can contact us at 888-462-4006 to request an appointment or to book an appointment with one of our attorneys. You could also go on our website at mcbeanlaw.com forward slash success and read how we were able to help clients reopen their cases or dismiss the cases or, in, or in any other strategy that we have on our website. Read it, encourage yourself and figure out with an attorney's help what is possible for you. Lastly, guys, some people, this will not help. Okay. This will not help some people because maybe you do not have a pathway right now to that green card. And so a motion to reopen that old case will not work for you. Let a lawyer look at your background to be able to tell you that guys, thanks so much. Subscribe to my channel before you go share this with other people. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.